Blue Lives Matter. I'm out at the uh, City of Converse um, here to pay some fees for some uh, open records requests. I'm going to do some other checking on things. Uh, make sure they have up the proper um, signage and other things. I'll pause this real quick. I forgot my glasses. Okay, we're back. I'm going to go in here. Do our thing. Look, they've got military veteran parking. I've got plates that say I can park there. Didn't know that was there. Go ahead, sir. Hello. I'm actually looking for uh, public records, but Public records. Uh, you can find that online on the website. Right, but I have to pay a fee, which would be required to be down here, from what I understand. Yes, but once you answer the request, it will tell you what the fee would be. I, I know what the fee is. I'm here to pay the fee. Okay. Let me see if I get something up. Okay. So I'm not seeing the publicly displayed uh, open records. That, that's quite all right. Take your time now. Are you making a payment or are you requesting? No, I, I'm making a payment. I have some other questions regarding that as well. Tory, T O R Y. Last name R I E S. Do you need that invoice number? I know. Let me just call it up. I'm also looking for your uh, public poster for the uh, information request which is supposed to be posted out here uh, about the request as well as uh, the post the, the proper posting of the signs required under the uh, Public Information Act. So whoever deals with open records is going to be familiar with that. Okay, thank you. I'm going to have a seat.
Hello, my name's Tori Reese. I'm here about some open records. Yes, sir. Uh, may I ask who I'm speaking with? My name is Samantha. Samantha, uh, are you aware of the records I requested? Yes, sir. Okay, my first question um, before we go into that is, where is your Public Information Act poster? It should be on that window. If it's not on that window, we'll put it back, but there's also one in the PD. I believe that's where you actually did your request at. Uh, actually, no, I, I did it online, but okay. I mean, I, I'm, I'm asking, I, I'm doing a documentation and I'll make sure that it is posted. If not, we'll follow up and we'll get it posted in the right place. Um, I mean, that's why I do what I do. Um, my second thing is the estimate for the cost, um, the five hours of programming. You guys already did that. So, I mean, in good faith, I'm going to pay it. Had I known if you had given me that estimate before, I'd have been a little hesitant about that. Um, but I want to make clear before I do pay for that five hours of programming that the 12 emails are interdepartment emails, not emails from them to me. Your emails are included, but it's all interdepartment because what they did is they communicated with you. Okay, that, okay, that's, I just want to make sure I'm not paying you no, for sir. emails that I already have. That, yes. okay, thank you. That, that clarifies that. Um, and I apologize, my, my memory's not good. Your, your name again? My name is Samantha. Samantha, I apologize. Um, so Samantha, I'm going to pay what you guys owe me because you did that in good faith. I, I will be contesting that five hours to the Attorney General. That's my right. Well, uh, don't pay then. Mm -hmm. If you contest it with the Attorney General, we can't touch the request until we hear from the Attorney General. I, I understand that. So if you're telling me you're contesting it, then we can't touch the request until we hear from them. That, that part of the request, the emails. I, I understand that. One of the other concerns that I had was with one of your communications with me that if I viewed a item in person that it would not be available to me by email. Correct. That's not in guidelines with the Public Information Act. Our public information attorney told us a copy is a copy is a copy. Whether it's electronic or physical, there is still the 10 cents fee. Okay. I, and I'm not, I'm not disputing the 10 cent fee. What I'm saying is that I was told that if I view it elect in person, that you would not email it to me as well. Right, and I, you would have to pay the 10 cents fee, the, the fee for the copy. Okay. Um, we'll, we'll cover that at another time. I'm not, I mean, if that's what your attorney told you, that's what he told you. The 10 cent, uh, that is for paper copies. I'm not, I mean, if that's what your attorney told you, I, I'm not here to debate that. I mean, I'm, I'm here to pay you. Because in good faith, you produce right, the but records. Like once, once I said, we have set up your inspection, so you don't have to pay for the body cam footage or video because you are choosing to inspect it at the city, at the um, police department on Thursday. If you are choosing to dispute the labor charges for the emails, you cannot pay right now because you're disputing the charges. So we, you have to dispute them with the AG, and then we wait to hear from the AG on what they determine we are to do. Right. I, I understand what you're saying there. And part of the the process includes the fact that I can dispute it after paying. I don't want to delay for the records. I didn't do this to cause your city cost or effort. What I'm here to do, you guys in good faith produce the documents. You say this is the cost. I say, okay, this is the cost. If you had to pay somebody five hours to program something to get that information back, um, I understand that's what you're saying. Uh, for me, and again, this is just my view, I don't understand uh, why that's not in your system, but I mean, you guys may have never had an interdepartmental request before either way. No, that's we what, have, and it's, it's how we handled it before in the past. Okay, so you've already had that program written in the no, past. They, they have to write the program very specifically for everything you ask to get it out of the archival system. So every time it's a different program written because it's different information being sought. Okay.